What are the three easiest ways you can do to get started losing weight? Do you need to starve yourself right away? Should you give yourself the hardest workout where you can't even move? Or is it just mind over matter where you won't eat any bad foods, only eat good foods, exercise when you're supposed to, and you haven't done these in the beginning with? While these are all great in theory, they just don't work, especially for getting started. So in this video, I'm gonna be three simple things that you can do today to get yourself started in the weight loss journey. If you're brand new, welcome to Black Belt Mindset. This is for martial artists, parents, and teachers, and anyone looking to transform their lives or help others do the same as well too. And each week we have three videos. We have Monday Mindset, which gives you the power to take action, overcome challenges. Fat Loss Friday, which is what we're on right now. Fast Friday, we get tips and strides and help you on the fat loss journey. And then Shout Out Saturday. That's any of our students that are in any of our challenges and giving you shout outs for taking action, overcoming challenges to inspire real transformation. So make sure if you haven't got a chance, subscribe, hit the notification icon, like the videos so that we can find out anytime I have a new video out. If you haven't had a chance to meet me yet, my name is Jason Reed. I'm a seventh degree black belt martial arts school owner, and I've been helping people for over 20 years improve the lives of martial arts and their mindset and weight loss. So if you're brand new, welcome. So let's get to the video. What are the three things you can do today to get yourself started in the weight loss journey? I'll go through each of the steps and then afterwards I'll go through in a little more detail. Step number one, plan your meals in advance. Step number two, stop snacking. Step number three, drink water when you get hungry. I didn't say take away calories, exercise or any of that. You'll be hearing more about those videos in the future. But this week, let's go over those three things. So number one, plan your meals in advance. Have you ever been hungry where you ran into a gas station, where you ran into McDonald's, Burger King, don't go there by the way, or fast food when you just were hungry, the kids were starving, and you just want to get everybody to shut up basically. It's happened to each and every one of us. Don't feel bad. But this is something that continues to happen to you all the time. Not only are you wasting money, but you're wasting time and you're putting extra weight on. So instead of getting this four, five, six, seven times a week, narrow the times you go and eat out down to once or twice. Instead, have meals from home plan in advance. You will save money, you have better quality foods, and you'll probably avoid times when you shouldn't have those foods you're not supposed to have. Number two, we talk about, uh, number two is snacking. This is a hard one for a lot of people. Most people believe they snack because they're getting hungry. But think about this for a second. And I don't mean meals, but I'm talking about snacking. Do you ever get stressed? Do you ever get bored? Do you ever get to a spot where you're just a little irritable and you want to get something in your stomach to make yourself feel better? It's okay. It's happened to all of us. But generally, you think you're hungry. You're really not hungry. You're either just stressed or you're bored. And I don't want to make light of that. There's other things that you can do when those things happen. That's very important to understand that you're not eating just because you're hungry or snacking. You're doing it because of one of those two reasons. So if you can take whatever food you're having, add it to one of the other meals. So let's pretend you have six small meals a day. Your body's going to be doing better if you have three of those meals and those meals were much bigger. You can have literally the same amount of calories. You put them together. It gives you more body for your stomach to digest the food, convert it to energy, and have less fat also. It will also, which I don't talk all about this, is dopamine receptors. It will help you so you're not spiking that all the time. If you take it down to three meals a day, you're going to start feeling better, start thinking clear. And number three, if you've ever gotten thirsty, or I'm sorry, if you've ever gotten hungry, drink water. If you get thirsty, obviously you should drink water. That doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. But when you're getting hungry sometimes, it's really not just because of that. We talked about the stress and the boredom, but drinking water will also help feel that need. It will also help your brain function better, help your food process better, help your stomach digest better. So instead of drinking soda, drinking sugar, drinking other snacks that you think fill a need, start drinking water. At first, it will take a little effort on your channel, on your spot to be able to do that. But then once you start getting the habit of it, you'll start feeling better and you won't even want those things. So again, three simple strategies. Plan your meals out in each week in advance. Stop snacking and drink water when you get hungry. Start with those three things. Next week, I'm going to go over the three primary things that you can do once you get past this level. So number one, what are the foods to get rid of? What's a simple exercise strategy to get started? And then how can we get a stress? It's our diet, 
the way we move and get around stress. That's ultimately going to have the three biggest factors on our weight loss. So look forward to seeing you in the next week's video.